all. Welcome back for another uh, GI question of the day. Uh, our question today says, the nurse is observing a staff member caring for a client with gastroesophageal reflux disease or GERD. The nurse should intervene if the staff member is observed doing what? So we are looking for an action by a staff member that they shouldn't be doing, something that we would need to intervene on and you know try and stop. Um, option one says requesting a low fat diet for the client. Uh, this is an incorrect option because we don't need to intervene here. It is something we want. Um, things like high fat foods, um, acidic foods, those kind of things can trigger reflux. So we want to give our clients um, low acidity, low fat options and, and educate them really well on that. Option Two says encouraging the client to eat small, frequent meals. Um, this is an incorrect option because it doesn't require follow up. Small, frequent meals are going to be better tolerated than larger, less frequent meals. When we eat a really large meal, we have more uh, gastric distension, which can worsen GERD. So the small, frequent meals are definitely a better, uh, better option here. Uh, option three says placing the client in the supine position after the client eats breakfast. This is going to be our correct option here. Um, we don't want to lay supine or lay flat after eating. We want to stay upright for two to three hours afterwards, okay? And we're just really kind of using gravity to our advantage here when we stay upright, okay? When we lay flat, that um, that gastric content can leak back into the esophagus, um, and that's what causes our symptoms of GERD, right? So if we stay upright, we're using gravity to keep that acid where it should be. Um, so, and that, and that applies not just for breakfast, but for all meals, snacks, those kind of things. And a lot of times we want to encourage these clients to eat dinner earlier in the evening before bedtime versus an hour before bedtime for that same reason. Option four says administering a proton pump inhibitor to the client 30 minutes before dinner. Um, this is an incorrect option because it doesn't require intervention. Um, we definitely want to give a PPI to our clients before they eat. It helps just kind of suppress that like acid production and acidic response. So if we can time that with meals, that's really helpful for these clients. So we'll see y'all tomorrow.